YouTube. Today we're going to continue with our structure here. Um, we made our base plates, our columns, our beams, and our connections in there. Now we're going to add some purlins. Now in this section here, extended modeling, there is uh, like pre-made stuff and this whole structure could have made it in one step by going to that one there yeah i'll just demonstrate it real quick uh select that uh select your height and bam change all the connections in there uh before you know it you've got that structure but uh i was just demonstrating that show that there's a few things here and uh we're going to you know trying it out sake I guess we're going to add some prelims to this structure here and again this is pre-made stuff like prefabricated like assemblies okay so select supporting beams you read down there uh, so that one and that one right click uh, do you want to select the reference point no and if anyone has got any more information about reference points can you please get back to me because i'm not a hundred percent on that and the additional reference beam no okay so we have our purlins there and we're just gonna make that identical so it looks a little better okay so actually we should make a layer for that okay and we're gonna give it uh, cyan and we're gonna add let's see I guess we can do joist as well, we'll add the joist in there and uh, we are going to give it uh, a strong blue okay uh, okay so now we change that to press cyan okay now change to joist because that's what we're adding next okay now we're going to add a joist to this again i'm not gonna measure use my brain power here I'm just going to randomly add a joist so that we see how it works anyway. So select our midpoint there, I guess, and uh, the other midpoint there, that's we want our joist. And then we select the height. And always remember to read here because it gives you an idea of what you're doing. So just randomly create a height there and uh, let's have a look at it before we change it okay yeah it looks very ugly but uh, let's see maybe we can fix that so mm, geometry take a couple off no no just one okay take one off Okay, it's starting to look better. And we're going to set support plates. Okay. Uh, that looks all right. Well, if it doesn't, it doesn't. Anyway, uh, that's just to show you uh, about some of these uh, uh, pre-made uh, uh, structures I guess and actually we can also probably do a quick stair here I've never used that one so let's go with that one I've never used that ladder before okay so what does it say please select starting point okay we'll select anything then if we need to learn from our mistakes we will Select height. Uh, 
height of the ladder so our column height is 100 so we maintain that Okay, so this is the very first time YouTube I'm using that one, but uh, as you can see, I almost successfully did it, and I'm sure with uh, with some practice we can get that one right. Okay, let me do the one I know. Um, So we're going to add some railings here. 